Welcome back. A human rights protester has lodged a criminal complaint against staff at the Bahrain Embassy alleging attempted murder on the night of his rooftop demonstration. Four months ago, Musa Mohammed took to the rooftop of the Bahrain Embassy in London. He was protesting against the executions of human rights activists in the Arab state. While he was up there, he alleges he was confronted by embassy staff and mobile phone footage shot from below shows the image of a stick or baton being raised. Today he came to a police station with his lawyer and fellow activist to lodge a criminal complaint of attempted murder. Inside they presented an officer with alleged evidence including the dramatic footage gathered that night. There was also a statement in which Mr Mohammed says they tried to kill him by throwing him off the roof or down a stairwell. Mr Mohammed, so how did it go in there? I came to here to um, bring file uh, against the, um, the attacker on the Bahrain Embassy and I hope the police uh, investigate the, this uh, issue seriously. And the embassy said that they were trying to restrain you, they were trying to save your life, not threaten it. I don't want to go issue, uh, uh, through on this issue because I want to leave it to the police to, to have investigated this issue. But your statement says that, as far as you're concerned, they threatened to kill you. And uh, you stand by that? Yeah. Yes. Yes. They try to kill me. Yeah. And they say that. It's taken four months for Mr. Mohammed to lodge this complaint. Why so long, if this is so serious? Well, we were trying to deal with it as soon as we can but we had to seek uh, a legal advice on it. And as you know, this would be a fairly complex matter as well, which could deal with diplomatic immunity and others. Diplomatic immunity is a sensitive issue, but this case has already defied convention. That night, the police forced their way into the embassy, even though staff had raised the alarm of an intruder on the roof. Today, the embassy described the allegations as completely baseless with no credibility. Simon Israel there, and while we've been on air 